Scorecard, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. Jesus the Armed Robber. I'm not kidding. That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Like, subscribe, ring that bell, and donate. If you love what we're doing in HT, if you, Higher Things, if you love us passing on the faith to the next generation, like our videos, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell uh, to get notifications on our videos, and donate. I think the donate thing is right here. Your tax-deductible gift keeps higher things, a youth organization all about passing the faith to the next generation, keeps us a-rolling. So, the traditional gospel lesson for the, um, for the third Sunday in Lent, like, uh, oculi, my eyes are ever on the Lord. Uh, is from uh, St. Luke's Gospel, chapter 11. Um, we're going to uh, sort of catch one section of it um, for time's sake. But here's what the Lord says. Uh, now he was casting out a demon that was mute. The demon had gone out of the man. The man, the mute man spoke. The people marveled. But some of them said he cast out demons by Beelzebub, the prince of demons. So they accuse Jesus of being possessed by the Lord of the flies. Well, others to test him uh, sought uh, for him another sign from heaven. You mean other than the sign of casting out the demon. But he, knowing them, saw, thought, said, every kingdom divided against itself is laid to waste and every household divided falls. If Satan is divided against itself, how will his kingdom stand? For you say that I cast out demons by Beelzebub. And if I cast out demons by Beelzebub, by whom do your sons cast them out? Therefore, they will be your judges. So the accusation that he is of the devil doesn't mesh with how this war with the devil is going. If the devil is casting out demons himself, then that's a universe in which the devil's kingdom won't stand. Because it's divided against itself. It's in civil war. And if he casts out demons by means of the devil, how do the children of Israel cast out demons, he says. They'll be your judges. And then he says this, when a strong man, fully guarded, fully armed, when a strong man, fully armed, one who's equipped, guarding his own place, his own house or farm or the like. He's, he thinks his goods are at peace or safe. But when someone stronger comes and attacks him and Nikes him, that's the word used here, he overcomes him, he, he's victorious over them. He takes his panopleon, his full armor. Th that armor in which he trusted, he put his faith in. And he divides, he distributes, he gives through his uh, skula, his spoils, his plunder. Whoever's not with me is against me. Whoever does not gather with me scatters. Jesus describes himself today to a world that doesn't believe in him as an armed robber. He's casting out demons and he's doing good and he's taking care of business. And he says, a kingdom divided against itself cannot sense. So it's not say by Satan, I cast out demons. No, the way I cast out demons is sort of like a guy who's in a house and he's trusting in his stuff. And he's trusting in his armor. And that's the devil. And I come in and I break in and I, I overcome the devil and I tie him up and I steal his spoil. And you know who's spoil? What his spoil is? His spoil is you. I take you from him. Like I overcame the devil for this, the, this demonized kid. I overcome the devil for you. I take you away from him because I'm stronger than him. 
And the irony of this section is that Jesus is described as an armed robber. That's how countercultural he is. If you want to understand him, the world has you. The devil has you. And this is true. Be honest with yourself. You believe and accept things that are not that are sinful as if they aren't sinful. And you do this and you accept things and you look at things and you act like things that would not be acceptable 50 years ago and certainly would be horrific in Jesus' day. And Jesus has come in through your YouTube, through your service, through church, and he has stolen you. He has robbed you. He has taken you back, robbed the devil of you and taken you back so that you would be hit. And the irony of this is that he overcomes Satan For you, not by force, but by dying. That's the irony of this. He is the armed robber who is defeated. He is the armed robber who is who loses but wins. He is the armed robber who dies, and you're saved. I wish you could see this. He's just looking down at me. He's just so sad because I'm ignoring him. I've got one treat left. Hey, buddy, look up for them. Look up for them, buddy. Look up for them. Whoops. He was busy looking at me, not at the treat. Jesus is the robber. You are the spoils. Jesus is the savior who overcomes the devil by dying. And you are saved. I'm Pastor George Borkart with The Sleeping Thorn. And this has been a Higher Things video short.